Alright, this video, I'm gonna go over some of my commentaries on Spider-Man 3 and the movie Ninja. I just saw these two movies because my wife was watching it. I'm not really a big Spider-Man fan. Um, I don't even think... I only saw the first one and then she saw, you know, she was watching the third one. And I took a look at the third one. And what I liked about it was the meaning that it portrayed in the movie. And I'm gonna go over that meaning, you know, to give you some insight. Um, and this is what I mean. If martial arts techniques and fighting techniques are going to be displayed and used, they should be used with with the purpose of trying to teach of something greater or something good. And a lot of movies, they do do that and it serves its purpose, which I do enjoy. And I really believe that movies, um, the portray martial arts movies, um, when they tell a story, it's a lot more entertaining and it's better for society than just gathering two people up just to bash each other's face in or knock each other out. Alright, so if you see Spider-Man 3, what I liked about it was you see the main character, Spider-Man. He was... He represents the good. Especially at the beginning of the movie and Spider-Man 1, he represents the good. And to me, he would be considered like a, a true martial artist. All right, he represents the good. He's protecting those that need to protect it, to be protected. He's doing justice, or he's <clears throat> um, doing justice for society. In Spider-Man Three, he starts to gain recognition and a lot of fame from the people around him. And what ends up happening is he develops like an ego. Like a, like a higher sense of himself, thinking that he's better than other people, and just being overly proud about himself and his talents and accomplishments. Now, when he started to develop that sense, then he started to become less of a true martial artist. He started to become more of something else. All right, um, And then he ended up getting some type of... Some something where it turned him into having a black uniform. I forgot exactly what happened, but some type of um, bug or something got a hold of him, and then he started um, turn. You know, his uniform turned black all of a sudden, and then he started to represent more of evil, more overly aggressive, and just being very violent, treating people around him with disregard and being disrespectful and just not thinking about anybody else but himself and then when he started to be like that 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 was when he no longer was a true martial artist to me he was just being on the other side he wasn't no longer the the so-called hero but he started to become like the criminal himself so that's what I mean, you know, it, it, they gave a very good portrayal of that, you know, of him, how he was before, more peaceful, less egoistic, more of a true martial artist. And then after he got started to get that black uniform, he started to turn very ugly, disrespectful, no longer an artist, maybe just more of a criminal. All right. And then he was able to get away from that, that whatever it got hold of him that disease or whatever and then he turned into um, a true martial artist again and at the end of the movie he said you know we all have our choices in life that we make and it's up to us whether or not we're gonna make the right choice that's that you know make the choice that's right and that's basically what I mean is that we could all train in martial arts and we could all get good in techniques but it's up to us how we're going to use those techniques, use those talents in which we're going to either better society or we're going to make society worse. We're going to either create more peace and love and compassion or we're going to make more hatred, violence and anger. So the choice is up to us. If you choose the right choice, then I'd say that you're a true martial artist. If you choose the other choice, then to me you're not a true martial artist. You are just like a violent person. So that that's that if you watch that movie you pay attention, it gives a very good portrayal of that. See when I identify some of these movies, 
these are like references and sources that you could check yourself to see that you know when I speak about the spiritualness and the philosophy behind the martial arts this is not just coming from me this is there's a lot of sources and for the movies books that, that portray the deep meaning behind the martial arts so you know people that, that disagree with what I say or whatever you you know you could try to say you know you, you might be able to try to say that you know these are just my opinion but it's not just my opinion this is I didn't develop martial arts um, and the philosophy behind it this is something that's you know well il illustrated in the movies the books that we read and if you pay attention you should be, be able to see that this is not just a one you know, based on one person's opinion this is this is um the actual deeper aspects of the martial arts that many are just not aware of simply because they don't pay attention all right so this next movie I'm going to talk about is a movie called Ninja I had no um, I really didn't know anything about this movie until my wife found it on the internet and I just started watching a few clips I didn't even see the whole thing but I saw about half the movie and watching the movie it did give a very good portrayal of um, true martial arts opposed to the opposite and you know the movie is about you know these three ninjas that had a master and two of the ninjas remained true martial artists and then one of them got kicked out of the school and he became an assassin and then that basically represented the opposite of a true martial artist okay just a violent person and the main the main actor in the movie was a Caucasian guy I never seen the person before but he's one of the best from what I've seen on screen one of the, the best martial artists that I've seen that's Caucasian um, he had really good technique if that really was him performing the techniques his techniques were very you know very good you could tell that he's been practicing for many years um, that then he then he did gain an understanding of the the martial arts I mean not just based on his technique but the the role that he played showed um, the spiritual side of the martial arts so when you see somebody with the technique that he had that's from years and years of discipline training and with that discipline I'm pretty sure he was instilled the philosophy behind it as well so that, that you know he, he would portray more of a true martial artist you know not just a fighter not just a competition fighter or whatever so you know in the movie you know it, it, it does a very good portrayal of there's people that, that have talent the assassin was very talented as well and, and so was the main actor was talented they're both very talented but the assassin used his talents in very negative ways for society and because he was so highly trained it ended up becoming he ended up becoming um, worse for society to train somebody to his skill level and then have him do horrible things for, towards society and then you have the good which is represented by the main character which was tra highly trained as well but then you know he, he was doing good for society so the master trained you know these two people to be very talented one of them took the talents and used it in a very negative way for society and then one used it for very positive things so being in the master's perspective you would want to train only train people to do good with their abilities or to simply not train people at all that's how it should be okay because if you train people and say you train 10 people and then eight of these people do evil things or horrible things with their talents you are better off not training people at all all right you should only train the martial artists you know to do good for society you know and when you talk about these types of combat skills and these these violent um, expressions it's very important that the energies are directed in the proper ways and, and in this movie it's very good and you know it really portrays this very well of, of the good and then the bad and you want to, to lead towards a road of the good